Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Um, I'm laughing so hard I can't breathe so oh. good, I guess. Can't breathe. Can't breathe. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today I am here with three of my very closest friends. Today we have with us Rebecca from RK Dragon Gaming. How you doing, Rebecca? Where I'm are you? <laughs> Jeez, you guys move fast. <laughs> and we have Mr. Sled Junkie. How you doing, Sled? Doing amazing. Doing amazing. Yourself. And this guy needs no introduction. How you doing, Corpse? Who's Corpse? Who's corpse? I have no idea. Scratch my head. How's it going? <laughs> I'm doing He's... good. So today, guys, we are going to be doing another installment of Busted Myths. We're going to be taking some very common myths circulating in the community and busting them. And hopefully bringing you some awesome information that will help you play Call of the Wild much better. If you do enjoy the video, guys, make sure to hit that like button. If you'd like to join us for more daily Call of the Wild content, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the notify bell. Let's do it. You ready, guys? Ready. Yep. ready. All right, let's do it. Shoot. Nice, are up here. I guess it is. He's like right up there. <laughs> <laughs> let's head right into it. Oh, Rebecca, I can't see. Okay, I'm doing. <laughs> I need to scooch over anyway because I can't see either. I actually can't see it at all now. I, I would kill it a second ago. I don't know what happened to it. It moved or something. What are you guys doing? I see a seven. Oh, there it is. I have it. What, what do we have here? What's going on? Oh, oh there it is. You, you gotta lay down. You're gonna spook that lion. Oh, off. crap. Wait. Okay. What did you find? A what nine are you legendary. Doing? Why are you on the ground? Because I don't want to scare it away. You have to be really quiet. Yeah, you should get down to. Let's let's get closer. Like go as slow as you can and just I need to figure out what it is it. that you saw. Hold on here. We shouldn't even be talking in here. Why scare it? This thing here, this nine legendary. Yeah. Yeah, it's a diamond. It's gonna be a diamond. Well, it you could be huge. It could be. That thing's 370 meters out, guys. I know. We gotta be really quiet. All right. Well, see you later. No, you're gonna scare it. No, Lady, no, no. Slow it down. What are you doing? He must be silent. Come on, guys! Is he still You're there? Spook him off. I can't see anymore. I think you scared him off. No, he's still there. Last it's one there is a dirty rotten egg. Wrong. Let's go. Why are you running at him? Guys, follow me. Seriously, follow me. No, we're gonna spook him off. Is he running? I can't. Oh, no, Maybe no what are you doing? Why, are you... guys? Maybe we should why? Listen. Oh my goodness. Are you I'm still are you legend. still on your bellies? I can't even see, see you because you're upset. in the grass. Guys, get up and follow me, seriously. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. Alrighty, we're trusting you. Oh my you. goodness. Trust me. It's freaking me follow out. Follow me. Let's go. So guys, you do not have to creep on the map until you get to about 190 meters. And then you should stop running, but Further than 190 meters, you can run all you want. And as you can see, this legendary mountain lion has no idea. We are not making any noise for him. He cannot hear us. That's crazy. So you can run all you want. You can even fire a weapon if you're further than 200. I would say about 220 meters. And it will not spook them. It shouldn't. Okay, so this is soft feet, guys. And this is a... Stalker skill that I do highly recommend you put two points into. At level one, it reduces the noise generated when moving through foliage, such as grass and leaves. And level two reduces the noise generated when moving through larger vegetation, such as bushes and shrubs. So this, putting two points here, will definitely help you to move around and not spook animals a lot more easily. And I do highly recommend it. So if you guys would like to know all about the parameters for spooking animals, this is what I have learned works for me anyway. So I will run right up to about 190 meters and they should not spook. At which point, so right around here, I will start to walk. I can't even see him, that's the problem. And sometimes the closer you get when there is a lot of grass around, it is harder to see them. And sometimes you can't get too close because of the grass. But if you are trying to get closer, I will start walking. And then when the animal goes from calm to alert, 
that is when I will start to creep. So I kind of look at the animal and read its emotions for when I start to get quieter. And then when I get to about 70 meters, I will go completely prone. Boop! Like that. Sound good, guys? Yeah, it's perfect. I probably would have had a few more of these in my lodge if I knew this sooner. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Some people think you have to literally tiptoe around the entire map, but I like to cover a lot of ground. I run all over the place and I start to slow down when I get close to, you know, different need zones and different water sources and things like that. So you do want to run around and cover a lot of ground so that you can spot the most amount of animals possible and find more trophies that way. That's what I do. I, I just sit in a tree stand and wait till they come. <laughs> you sit in a tree stand? Well, that can yeah. be fun, but you probably won't get a whole lot of trophies. They aren't just going to come to you. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah, I should probably move around a little more. Yeah, that makes sense. He dead! You got him. You got him. Nice shot. Him. Thank you. Great job. Nice shot. Alright, there's the big man. There he is. Guys, do you know how long it would have taken you to get down here if you had a creep from 400 meters? He would have been long gone by the time you got here. It's just shocking we didn't have to crawl to be able to take this thing down. <laughs> well, you know what? Now you know, and knowledge is power, right? He is a 39.6. He's a pretty big boy. Nice! Congrats! He's a diamond. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. There's a nice Thank elf you. Up there. Not a monster. Congrats, Rebecca. Thanks. That's amazing. So guys, feel free to run around your map. When you do spook animals, more than likely they are going to run away and often turn around and come back. But you can run around your map. Just stop at about 190 meters and try to cover as much ground as you can if you are looking for those trophies. Sound good, guys? Yeah, it's such a good thing to know. Sounds Thank great. you. Thank you, Lady Legend, for busting that myth. Busted. 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 So guys, look at this. We have an absolutely stunning level four max estimate muley out here. Isn't he nice? He's stunning. Are you going to sneak up and get him with the bow there, Rebecca? I'm definitely going to. Nice. Well, I will sit and watch and uh, be a second pair of eyes for you. He just turned. I'm drinking are, away. Are you standing up walking or are you crouching? I'm standing up walking. Oh. Yeah, he's not. Oh, there he went attentive. Yeah. And, yep. And the other ones are all calm. Oh, are they? Yeah. Interesting. So you see here, guys, these does are all calm, but the biggest, the biggest buck here has gone attentive before all the rest. Can't spot him oh, now. He's attentive again. He's attentive. Even the three's calm, isn't it? No, yeah. he just went attentive. The three. Yeah. But the three went attentive after the four did, right? Yeah. He's now alert. the four's alert. He's walking. He's walking towards you. Hey, He's alarmed. Boy. There he goes. Falling. And Every, all, all the rest of the deer there. are still here. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So guys, do you know what we just witnessed? I have no idea. Is that buck is smarter than the other one? Yes, yeah. he is smarter than the other ones. He has a higher level of artificial intelligence. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so the higher the level of the animal, the higher its level of artificial intelligence. So do you know what that means? The harder he is to kill. That the harder he is to kill. He will spook sooner, he will know what's going on sooner, and he will be the first to flee. So they are harder to get the higher the level. That's really good information to know. It He's is. Coming back. Sometimes animals actually, we say they act like diamonds. You ever heard that saying? Yeah, a couple times. Lots, yeah. I, I might have. <laughs> and why we say that is because they, when they're acting like diamonds, what is happening? Are you on my head? Oh, thank you. <laughs> when they, he's, he's actually back there now. He's coming back. He's nervous. He is so pretty. I hope you can still get him. He is really nice. I forgot my bow, but he's right in front of me. So I can oh, you forgot your bow. Do you have something you can take him down? Oh, there he goes. Yeah, he smoked. I was gonna say, that's a loud bow. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you shoot him with? The 303. Let's go have a look at him. I find animals with higher artificial intelligence. They
they tend to flee with the wind at their back, right? Yeah. Because they're smarter and they know that I that's the smartest really way to run. Paid attention to that. Yeah, they do. I think I just learned something for sure. Nice. There is definitely a lot to learn in this game. And if you guys are wondering why I can see all these guys' waypoints, that was a new feature that was added a couple updates ago. And if you'd like to see the waypoints on a multiplayer, you just go in here to multiplayer. And for each person, you can show their waypoint or hide it. I kind of wish it was permission-based, but that's the way it is right now. I guess the loophole around that would be just to hunt with friends that you trust. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Fair enough. That's all I do anyway. Yeah. I love this rack on the mealies. are so Oh, good. he is stunning. Look at him. He is that gorgeous. That is nicer than the, the diamond rack. I know, right? Yeah. It's He's like really nice. it's like shooting a level seven red deer. He is beautiful. Congrats, Rebecca. I'm sorry you forgot your bow, but as long as you get that's him down, okay. that's what matters. Must have those Rambo broadheads. It really is. He really is big. That He's a two seventy seven. So there you go, guys. Not all animals spook at the same time. It does very much have to do with their level. That is very good to know. Yeah, no kidding. That's you. That's you, corpse. Yeah. Uh oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you, Lady Legend, for busting that myth. Busted! Myth busted. busted. Thanks, guys! How's it going, guys? What you doing? What's it going? What you up just, to? Just, uh, found some really cool zones, and I wanted to put a tent down here so I can just come back here later and... It's really accessible and easy to find. You're gonna drop a tent here? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Says he's oh. Running away. What's going on? What, what the hell happened? He what? is out. How far away was the pronghorn? It was about 170 or something like that. Yeah, you can't drop a, a tent that close to any animals, any zones, for a couple of reasons, actually. Do you know what they are? No idea. You see what happened here? Yeah, they all just ran off. That's right. When you drop a tent too close to any herd of animals, any animals at all, they will spook. Mm -hmm. All right, so you know what we should do here, guys? We should actually pick up this tent and try and place it close to another zone, but not too close, and see how far away we can drop this tent without actually spooking them. Okay, I'm gonna get your vote. Perfect, so why don't you drop the tent at 300 meters and see if he spooks, and if not, pick it up and get a little closer. See how close you can get before spooking him. <laughs> There's something on my head! Uh, it's just a really fancy hat. Uh-huh. You got a hairpiece. What you call a smart hat. <laughs> I think I'm placing a tent now. Awesome. How far it's, uh, are you? Uh, 300 meters. Did you drop it? Yeah. Yep. You did not and... spook. You are good. You can get a little closer. Try 275. Okay, 275. Still calm. And the tent is down. Oh, All right, attentive. you didn't spook, guys? He's attentive. He's attentive. So maybe okay. 275. I bet you if you drop it at 250, he'll spook, but why don't you try? All right, I'm gonna try 250 though. All right. He's fleeing. Oh, wow. Okay. He's fleeing. There he goes. So there you go. 275. That is the distance you can drop a tent without spooking your animals. But you actually don't want to drop your tent any closer than 250 meters for another reason. Do you guys know what that is? No idea. No idea. Tell us. The reason you want to do that is so that for sure, the animals around in your zones, around the lake, will actually render. If you drop your tent too close, there is the chance that they may not render in and they could be there and you just will see nothing around the lake or in your zone. So they're invisible? They're invisible. Crazy. Crazy stuff, I know, but it is important to know. I think I have some tents to move. <laughs> you they might have some too. tents to move. Now with tripods, guys, it's actually a little different. You can actually get to about 175 meters, sometimes 150, 
and drop a tripod and they will not spook. It's not the same as tents. Do you guys find that as well? Yeah, seems to be. Yeah. Yeah, so that is the way it is, so good to know. That's your cue. All right, I suck at this. Uh, thank you, Lady Legend, for busting that myth. Busted. Myth busted. Busted. Well, thanks, guys. <laughs> thanks, Lady. My pleasure. Well, guys, thank you so much for helping me bust those myths. I really appreciate it. Thank you for teaching us cool stuff. It's a lot of fun. Thank you for actually teaching me something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You are so welcome, my friends. You are absolutely so welcome. So that is going to wrap it up for this one. A huge thanks to Sled Junkie, Corpse Kill Gaming, and RK Dragon Gaming. They are awesome. Thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you, you lady. You, you are awesome. <laughs> I love you guys. If you, liked... <laughs> well, oh, no. if you did enjoy the video, guys, make sure to smash that like button. And if you'd like to join us for more daily Call the Wild content, Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the notify bell. And we will see you guys in the next one. Right, guys? Oh. Yeah, for yep. sure. When I revive. <laughs> when you revive. Take care, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye. Let's do it. Let's jump. Bye. Bye. Wee. Woo. Oh, oh, my goodness. Geronimo. I need help for this. Ball. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, lady or dog chased you down the cliff. Oh. <laughs> That's too funny. Oh, oh no, the lady just went flying! <laughs> you just, just murdered me. Trouble. Thanks for pushing me off the cliff. <laughs> that was the funniest thing I ever saw. You just like yeeted down the cliff. <laughs> oh.